So the Department of Medical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases at the University of Manitoba is a dynamic department. We have strengths in HIV, in antimicrobial resistance, and in virology. Uh, some of the viruses that we study include SARS coronavirus 2 that everyone's heard about, uh, Ebola virus, and HIV. We have a lot of strength in basic medical sciences as well as clinical infectious diseases. And uniquely across Canada, we also are linked to public health infectious diseases. This is really a hub for infectious disease research. So it's nice to be among a lot of like-minded people who are just as enthusiastic about the research and science as I am. Whether you're interested in staying within Winnipeg, plenty of work here to do. But if you're also interested in getting out there and exploring the world, our supervisors have tons of connections and they're always happy to help you out with that. So here at the department, um, we have a program called the International Infectious Disease and Global Health Training Program. And that program is available to all PhD students in our department. Um, so that program uh, comprises of students at U of M, um, students in Colombia, India, and Kenya as well. This is amazing, not only because allow academic change, allow also to create collaborations between students and with other researchers around the world. It also has um, the opportunity to attend to several courses in each country, which allow uh, those future researchers to be exposed to several cultures, uh, several languages, different disciplines. I think about you know the history that this department has been built on. Certainly, the people that have come before myself and the people that have come you know really to establish this department. Uh, to me, this is uh, really a reflection of how strong the department is in these respective areas. Faculty provide uh, excellent s support to residents uh, to pursue uh, their career goals and their own particular career trajectory, and have really supported me in, in research and in grants and other opportunities uh, after residency uh, to help uh, meet me where I'm at and allow me to uh, get to where I want to go. Choosing a uh, supervisor that is based out of the National Lab also allows me some connections within the government. And this is a potential career opportunity for me in the future. But we also have the luxury of having the National Microbiology Lab, which is the only uh, biosafety level containment for lab in all of Canada. So that's a huge asset for our department to have right next door. There's been numerous uh, Vanier scholars that have come from this department, uh, myself included. And I basically owe all that award to the department. Our trainees learn how to work from molecule to populations, and I think that's something that's unique and is a real strength to the work that we do. Our research program in our department is right on the Health Sciences Centre campus. Uh, so that's a hospital that's right downtown. Uh, so we feel really included in the buzz of healthcare in Winnipeg. I really like Winnipeg for various reasons. Um, uh, I like the proximity to nature, so within you know, a 20 minutes drive you could be at uh, one provincial park or another. Um, I also like the ability to um, cross-country ski or skate along the river. If you're a foodie, Winnipeg actually has the highest concentration of uh, restaurants per capita in Canada, so it's a great place if you're into the food scene. There's a lot of art and music and culture uh, that's really at your fingertips. Um, the architecture is also beautiful and the cost of living is cheap. So we've worked uh, very hard to improve the diversity of our intake of students and I think that's been very successful. Uh, we are also working to increase the diversity of faculty and staff and uh, most recently have established a lead or an office uh, for EDI uh, and are working hard at things like implicit bias during search committees uh, to improve our performance overall. Good science requires input from people that are most affected by the diseases that we study. So by having good, strong community partners, we, we ensure that our research is relevant to the communities. We bring you know, experts in antimicrobial resistance. We bring experts in HIV and in emerging viruses. We bring them all to the same location. And, and arguably, I think, have created an infectious disease hub for all of Canada that will continue to serve uh, not only us nationally, but also us globally.